GoThunderWolves.com. We're here with head coach Austin Albers. Coach, we'll just go ahead and kick it off with um, talking about your returners. We have Elaine Thibodeau in the back. You have Grace coming back as a setter, um, Hannah, Delore, and uh, Jazzy in the middle. Just go ahead and talk about your team. Yeah, you know, um, going into the season, one of the things we talked about was that we felt one of our strengths was just going to be our, our senior leadership and our, our returning class. Um, we have six in that senior group, and five of those six are fifth years. Um, so they, they know our system, they understand the expectations and those types of things. So we're excited to have a good leadership group of people that have been here and been through it. Um, but yeah, like you touched on, um, you know, in terms of our, our all-conference people from, from last year, we have Elaine in the back, um, Hannah on the outside, Jazzy in the middle, uh, and then Grace Hearn setting. Uh, but we also have some key pieces returning with Casey Jonke, who will be a senior on the right side. Um, Melitza Dukic, who's another, another senior in the middle. Um, and then, by gosh, I hope I'm not forgetting somebody. Um, you, got jo got, you still got Josie Nunn in the middle. Josie Nunn in the middle as well. Um, but in terms of our seniors, I f we feel like that's going to be a big strength for us. Um, people that have been there and been through it. Um, you know, and then our, our sophomore class and, and all of that, are they're third-year kids, so they've, they've been through it too. So we just feel like we've got a good, a good crew of returners, people that have been on the floor. Um, that can really help lead the way for some of our youngsters. Yeah, yeah, I can kind of see that leadership just watching the red and navy uh, scrimmage that we had. You can kind of see the the leadership the seniors kind of take on, and and um, just the calls that you get, like the the girls watching practice and things like that. I think that kind of will will bump up your program. Um, so so to transition a little bit, let's talk about your your recruiting class. You have um, Peyton Van Veen coming back coming from Washburn, and then you have your your freshman. Sadie Scoville, um, Terry, uh, Tor Tori Carey. What, um, what do you have to uh, say about them? Yeah, you know, I think, I think one of the things that separates us, and it stinks because you never really get credit for it until people start seeing them play, but I think our recruiting class is um, one of the best in the country. Uh, we worked hard on it, and we feel really good about our recruiting class being able to fill the holes that we saw when we made it to the national tournament. To get bigger and more physical, and we certainly got bigger and more physical. Um, so with our, our pin hitters, uh, Taylor Carey, Peyton Van Veen, Sadie Scoville, uh, Kendall Harrington, um, honestly, in terms of our freshman pin hitters, they've been outstanding people left and right. So we've yeah. been really excited about that. Uh, they've been putting up big numbers and doing those things early on, which is exciting to see. Uh, the big test, of course, is when you roll out the balls, and it's, it's the real deal. We'll see how they step up and if they can continue to, to do the things that they've been doing for these first two weeks of preseason. Um, and then we had brought in another transfer in uh, Brooklyn Holland as well. Yeah. Um, and she's an important piece for us as we lost Kyle in that DS libero position. We wanted to bring somebody in with some experience, and um, she's just such a nice calming presence for us out there. Um, and so... She kind of sometimes flies under the radar because she's a she's a late transfer that just kind of got added, but she's important um, and she can do a lot of great things for us in the back room and give us some good depth in that position as well. So we're excited about the group. We feel like with our returning strength and then sprinkling some of this young talent, um, we've got the pieces to to be something special if we can just put all the chemistry and all of that together. Yeah. So you guys are getting ready to kick off your your 2022 season. You guys have um, Texas A&M, Kingsville. Angelo State, East Central, and Southern Nazarene. Um, this weekend, at Angelo State. What um, what are some things that you can kind of see to we can expect? Yeah, you know, I think the big thing for us is we've got a few days to kind of sort out our rotations and start to polish some things up. Um, it's going to be a tough battle this weekend. Kingsville's a solid program. Angelo's 13th in the country, and then East Central has been on the up and up. They've been getting better every year. Um, Coach Lindsay's been doing an awesome job down there. Um, and then Southern Nass is a team that got us my first year here, um, you know, a few years ago, and they're solid. They've got players, they've got athletes. Um, and so for us, it's, you could go 4-0, oh, you could go all in 4. And we got to worry about our side of the net, taking care of that piece of it. Um, one of the things that's kind of nice but kind of nerve-wracking at the same time going into first weekend is there's limited scouting information. So it's, it's really about showing up and being great on your side of the net. And if we can just stay clean on our side, I think we've got the – the guns to kind of go blow for blow with anybody, and we'll see what happens. Yep. Well, good luck this weekend. Thank uh, you. The rest of the way, Coach. Sorry. Thank you. Appreciate it.